Welcome to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the overview of the workspace. So this is uh, CC 2017, and the workspace will update a little bit. Uh, there are some new feature features, but I want to basically go over everything in here. So the main uh, stage here is right here in the middle, which is uh, basically has my uh, my website here, uh, and then you have the code below it. Up at the top, we have the control panel, which is very typical in all Adobe applications. Uh, you have your file menu, edit menu, and so forth. Um, basically, any floating window will be under the window menu. You can see throughout here, there's lots of different windows that are not open right now. Uh, and then, of course, you have your help menu. Uh, over here on the left, we have these uh, your tools which uh, you have like the open documents, the file management tools, the live view options, and then of course the uh, toggle visual media queries bar. So what that is is for responsive design users, uh, which main is a main issue for modern web design right now, is to basically create a site that is you know, used for desktop and mobile devices. So uh, if I come over here to the side here on this uh, any of these panels here I can basically drag the whole scene down and you can see here's my site turning to a more mobile site and that's based upon these uh, media queries and of course some code to, to help that change happen um, you can toggle it by clicking on this little icon here and what it is is this little icons up here so as I click on that you'll see they disappear and they come back so uh, if you're not work currently working on that, you can kind of conserve uh, real estate by just collapsing that. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, when you open up a file, it'll have any uh, files that are linked. So you can see here I have my styles that are basically controlling how this, this uh, document is being displayed here. And then of course the source code, which has the HTML right down here. Uh, typically Dreamweaver is one of these applications that is really great because it allows you to work visually like I can click on icons here and edit and change things on the fly and then I can also work in the code view which is down below here so it allows you to do both of those up here in the top middle it kind of gives you some greater control you can kind of focus on one of these so I can click on code and simply work just in straight code view I can click on the live view, uh, which gives me access to working on these elements. Or if I click on the little arrow tab here, I can go in the older version, which is the design view, which basically doesn't look like the actual site, but allows me to do certain things like, for example, I can edit large areas of text, where it's a little trickier to do that in the live view. Live view, you'll notice uh, you have um, paragraph blocks you have to deal with here. So, uh, but typically you work in the split view here. Over here on the right, you have additional panels. We have the files, which is where you basically create your site. And then uh, we have our CC libraries, all the cloud files. The insert panel, which basically has all your HTML uh, main codes here. So you can see here, we have the old div tag images, uh, headings and so forth. And then here's the more common HTML5 tags like header, navigation, aside, uh, and so forth. And as we go down here, we have HTML5 video and Canvas. So we'll be using these a lot throughout this the uh, tutorials here in the future. And then we have the CSS Designer here, which is your style sheets. Basically, this is uh, your uh, cascading style sheets, which is how, you know, the text and images and so forth are designed here, the rules that govern that. So um, each of these you can kind of click on and navigate through. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have a few more panels. If I click on that or on the DOM here, you'll see we have the DOM, the assets, and then the snippets panel. Snippets is great for codes. There's code snippets here. Assets basically is anything you have stored on your local hard drive where CC libraries is stuff you have saved on the clouds. So that's the main difference between those two. And then of course the DOM, which is the document object model, which has a uh, criteria sort of listing a blueprint of your HTML in your scene here. So you'll be able to edit directly through there. Um, and then we have the ability to 
customize our workspace, if you go up here in the top right, you can change from standard to developer. So you can do that just by dragging it uh, back and forth. But you can also create your own unique workspace. Uh, click on new workspace to do that. You want to do that after you basically have set up your workspace though. You could save out your current workspace. Uh, I'm going to go back to standard here and show you some things. Uh, so for example, in the original um, previous versions of Dreamweaver, we have the properties panel, which isn't no longer visible down here at the bottom. I'm going to open that up by going to the windows menu and go down to properties and open it up. Now, here's the properties based upon whatever you have selected in your scene. So if you don't have anything selected, uh, click out, it'll have nothing in there. But if you click on something, you'll see the properties for that. So any of these images or text, so forth. What I'm going to do is drag this down to the bottom here until I see this blue line and then release. And now I have the properties tab down here. Now I can collapse it by uh, simply double clicking on it and it, it stays collapsed, but I want that in there. Um, for the CC designer, I, it, it's kind of a long area here. If I drag this over, it'll be a two column sort of setup, and I kind of like that. So I kind of drag it out and then I can set up this whole scene the way I want and save out this workspace. Now I do want the DOM panel up, uh, maybe or maybe not. If I double click on any of these, I can do that. I can double click on the files and open that up and have that set up. If I want to rearrange these tabs, I can rearrange them. So um, CC libraries, I don't really use that much. So I could drag this to the end here and release and now it's on the end. I use the designer a lot more, the insert and the files definitely a lot more. The DOM assets and snippets are fine here too. So um, I like these the way they are set up here. So now I'm going to save up at this workspace by going to the standard menu, click up here and go down to new workspace and it'll just simply ask me for a name for this workspace and I'll call it you know my workspace and that's a good title for it and just click OK and now in the drop down menu I can switch from developer to standard and I can go out to my workspace and then I just have to make sure I save this file and then voila I have this set up so that's an overview of the workspace in uh, Dreamweaver the last thing I do want to mention is that you can drag out panels so I was thinking about the CC libraries if I don't want this I could drag it out and then close it completely um, and get rid of it. So you can always do that. You can always collapse things by clicking on these little double arrows too. That's another way to work. Uh, but yeah, lots of different things you can kind of try out. Have fun customizing your own workspace. Until next time, see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Cheers.